Hello everyone, welcome to some random thing I'm doing. Let me just give a little bit of information here. I am about four hours sleep deprived. I've been playing the hideouts for about the last six hours straight. I I've got it down sort of okay. That's a blatant lie, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There's only really one or two places which give me problems now. So I figured, you know what? How about I record some of my random tries through the game and who knows, I might accidentally S rank it. Oh well, come on Robert, let's see how we do. I'm not going to speak too much because I'm, I think I'm wrecked. My mind is wrecked and whatever. So I thought, you know what, you guys can probably enjoy some of this. So, here we go. Right, I've got that bit down a little bit better, but it's still not perfect. Hmm. Whoops. Oh well, this area could use a bit more practice. These one cell blocks are quite difficult. They're, they make platforming quite tricky. Let's just go on to the end of the level. They're in a very clumsy, sleep deprived way. Oop, oopsie doodle. Oh well, nothing bothers me right now. I just. I thought, you know what? I've got nothing better to do. My life's going nowhere. Why not waste a substantial part of it just playing a video game? Oopsie doodle again. This bit is problem bits. Now, I know everyone's screaming at me saying, You're not supposed to beat this level with Robert. What are you thinking? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not thinking. I'm not. I said I'd like to beat some of the levels with Robert because that's the kind of thing I'm going for here. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm pretty dedicated to it, as you can see. <sighs> yep. And nothing's going to keep me down. I'm just going to... It's like the slow and ability train. I'm just going to slowly make my way to the end, being as careful as I possibly can. This bit has a very tricky double jump, which... There we go. Now let's go to the end. This bit, fortunately, I think I've got sort of okay. As long as you're just careful and you take your time. Oops. You can press the wrong button, and when you press the wrong button, when you record it, you kind of screw up in front of everyone, but it's not like anyone's actually watching this anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm embarrassing myself in front of no one. Ah, uh, oh dear. So yeah, even though I've put a decent amount of practice into this level, I'm still not fantastic at it. In fact, I think fantastic would be like one of the last words I'd actually use to describe how I'm actually doing at this level. It's pretty hard. In like level hardness, currency, rating, units, hardness units. It's pretty hard. It's it's pretty hard. But my tolerance units are much stronger than this level's hardness unit, so yeah. My biggest worry is that those guys are gonna trip me up when I get to the end, but I'm not actually worried about that. It's so as I wasn't gonna bother me if I screw up because I don't actually expect I'm gonna do this, but whatever. Oops. Oops again. This part is quite tricky. I'd hazard to say that it is in fact the trickiest part of the level. I dashed across there because Robert has a weird jump and I'm not going to risk just frustrating myself trying to make that jump when it's clearly not meant for him. That's how you do it, boys and girls. If you can't do something with the character you're currently playing as, what you do is you find alternative routes. You don't look on any help sites which tell you, like, tried and true strategies on how to do certain bits. You don't need to use old fashions like intuition and exploration and you just do it because the game's fun and this game's fun and I'm not feeling any frustration at all. This is like a really good game. I really do reckon, although it may not seem like this is much fun at all, this is actually a lot of fun. A lot of games these days are just too easy and I actually do like having a challenge. And I know that might make me crazy, but deep down, I believe that we are all in fact a little bit crazy. I certainly am crazy. I mean, look at me. Look at me go. Oh, there's no chance in high heaven, hell, or whatever that I'm actually ever going to do this, but that doesn't stop me. Yeah, that's just what I need to do. And for some reason, I keep screwing that up. But that's fine. I've got to remember that there's actually like a good part, there's like a good like tenth of a second where I can actually wait on the wall and not fall down. But if I wait a little bit too long, what happens is that I actually slide off the edge, which means that if I can't wait for two tenths of a second, I've got a good tenth of a second. And I've actually got to remember that. Um, if I don't, the spikes will be there to remind me. Oh well, let's restart the level. I just want to get a little bit more. I'm really not good at this bit, and this bit actually does give me a lot of trouble. Alright, so we've made it up, but I'm not going to help us if we miss the garbage. The point is to get a double S rank, not a single S rank. I mean, if it was just a single S rank, we'd have all gone home a little while ago, but it's no good to double S rank. Which we want, except no substitutes. Zero substitutes. 
Poor life strike, but that's not going to bother me. Yep, jumped myself a little bit too high. I suggest you change the movie or something. I'm not going to actually do this. I'm not going to do this, guys, but that's not going to stop me from trying. Now, I think that's actually the most important thing. You've got to try, guys. You just try to expect, like, every, if you expect to be good at something, like, right off the bat without any effort whatsoever, you're going to be sorely disappointed in a lot of things in life. Like, take me, for instance. I've no delusions that I'm ever going to beat this level in a million years, but certainly not as Robert, which is the only character I'm actually ever good at at this game, but... Uh, oh, well. I'm actually screwing up on a really elementary bit now. I actually have a little bit of trouble concentrating while I'm talking. I'm, my mind is focusing on what to say, and my fingers are focusing on what to do. And my brain's trying to fend off sleep as best it can, but that isn't going to stop me. Being quiet doesn't actually help me at all. No. You guys thought I was actually joking when I said, oh, I need <laughs> psychiatric help, but I don't actually think I was. I actually think I really do. These obsessions, they're, they're quite real, guys. They're quite real. This level, I'm actually really obsessing over it. It was just like when I was going to university, I was just obsessing. Over all the assignments, and it was just a really stressful part of my life, but I honestly think it's the only thing going for me, but I don't know. Let's just try to take the level, the object of my current obsession. I know I'm playing this game nearly as good as I could be because I'm so tired, I'm just physically and mentally wrecked. Uh, can we do this bit again, Robert, please? Just to... uh, that gives me a little bit of confidence. I was being quiet because I was concentrating. Oops. Hmm. I don't know why I started recording. I'm not ready to attempt at full blindness rank at the moment. I'm making too many mistakes. It's whatever. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's, it goes without saying. But we're gonna do it. Mm. I know I must seem like I... Uh, bah, there's no word for it. I'm... Uh, oh, come on. Right. This bit I really wish I could practice on a lot. Because it is the largest variable at the moment. Those garbage guys give me too much trouble. The spikes are easy. The platforming is easy. Everything else is easy. Just the garbage guys. Whoops. Hmm. Actually put this just a cut version of all this to the tune of um Mega Man Guitar Sonar because that's how I'm feeling at the moment. It's time to think, I don't know why I go quiet time because that just makes it hard for me to concentrate. Every time needs to be relaxed time because I do a lot better when I'm just like relaxed. <sighs> My headphones are breaking. I'd, I'm using the current little headphone dealer with the microphone attached to do all these recordings. And I didn't have much money, so I bought a crappy $15 pair of headphones and they're already starting to break. I only bought them a couple of weeks ago, but you didn't get what you pay for. I'm probably not going to put this online. Oh well. It's a good thing this was a screw up attempt because. Oh, 
Ayo 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 Not that absolutely anyone would give a crap, but it's some small consolation prize to wasting my entire life. <sighs> it's a little bit harder to play this game with crabs going on because crabs cause this little brain rate spikes every now and then. Which makes <sighs> random points of frustration. But I'm really not frustrated, guys. I'm just... I'm just tired of a lot of things. Least of which being this game. I like this game. It's helping me take my mind off so many things at the moment. By concentrating on this and the problems I'm having with this game, I'm actually feeling a lot better about some of the other problems I'm having, but... Oh, it's that better. Oh, let's just die. Hmm. I might speed this up to extra speed. Oh dear. I think this actually merits a bit more practice than I'm giving it. That, which does not kill me, apparently makes me stronger. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh dear, oh dear me. I wonder how long before I get a nice long demo sample of my frustrations. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. Oops. I slightly panic when I'm gonna lose my combo. When I demoed this level a while back in the last episode, I, I, uh, I haven't slept since that. Mm, come on. This is my new object of obsession. For some reason, the clock tower didn't actually give me the same. I just knew that in comparison, Nothing on this. <sighs> the frame rate spikes are getting very bad now. I control and there's like a couple of seconds delay between what I actually press and what actually happens on the screen. It's almost to the point of unplayability, but don't worry, guys. I'm actually going to show you the time I do it. Like the first time, I'm going to have stop swimming, I'm going to. Be controlling Roberts with the keyboard. It's not going to be a replay. It's going to be me just stopping around. And... You know what? I think it's decided. This is an unofficial temple. It's not. It's not. I know it's not a temple in the game. But since I have very similar problems with that temple, I actually think that I'm going to name this temple this day forth. I'm going to call this temple the Temple of Despair. I think that is a suitable name. Knight's Temple is the Temple of Hatred. This is my Temple of Despair. It's the biggest challenge I'm facing in the game thus far, and it's a perfect level to cut my teeth on. Alright. Those monsters in the end. I wish there was a spike at the end where I could actually just kill myself, and then try that again. But at least if I did that, there'd be enough chance of me actually learning what some viable strategy for that bit, but as luck would have it, I've got nothing, guys. That 
the end, probably my least favourite part in this entire game. It's, it's not a fair challenge. It's not a fair challenge when you just land and all your hard work of getting through the level is just obliterated by just... Just like, that's... It's, it's not fair. It's not fair. But I don't even need to worry about that bit just yet because I'm not even up to it. I'm still trying to get up to the part where I can be frustrated with those guys at the end. As luck would have it, I'm not actually even up to that bit yet. I know everyone says, well, I can just turn off checkpoints and just play the level from the beginning when I'm trying to just double ass but I don't want to, guys, I don't want to. I want the luxury of practicing on um, difficult bits because I can practice and get better at them and slightly increase my chances of getting past it. At the moment, this level's kind of like rolling dice. I say that for this reason. If I've got like a 50% chance of getting through this bit without me screwing up, and then a 70% chance of me getting through this place without screwing up. And then say a 15% chance of me getting through the next area without screwing up. Then I can tie up my entire chances of this entire level. And that makes me feel slightly better about myself. If I can increase the chance of getting past an area by a certain percent, then... That'll help me a lot. It'll actually encourage me to continue because I think, you know what, I'm actually getting better. I can't jump up like that. I've got to just stay the way I'm doing it. You can bet you guys that if I manage to do it, I'm not cutting out a single bit. You guys are going to watch every second of this. And no, it's not because I hate you. It's not because I hate you guys. It's because I want to show you how much effort which I put into this game. It's, it's misdirected efforts, but what else am I going to put my effort into? Yeah, for some reason I keep holding the up key there, I'm not supposed to. The trick is that I cling to the wall just using the left arrow key, and once I've clung to the wall I slide down about <sighs> three tenths of a pixel. And once I've slid, slid down three tenths of a pixel, I press the up button to slide off the wall, and then once I've done slid to slide off the wall, then I try to make my way to the other one. But I'm not releasing the up key fast enough, my reaction time has just gone into the trash. <sighs> You want to cling to the wall, Roberts? Mm. That wasn't so hard, I just gotta remember. Do certain things. While I'm playing this game. And if I don't do the certain things, then certain death awaits me. Uh. Mm, I jumped a little too high. No oh dear. Oh, I've been on practice here. No oh dear, I shouldn't have jumped on the wall. Pro tip guys, don't ever, don't ever tell me something, that, don't ever say that I can't do something, because this is what happens. We got kind of close to the end of that time. I'm, uh, you know that bit at the end of um, my video with Night Temple where I something snapped inside of me and then my hands were shaking and my pulse was like shooting up and I can't concentrate and this game is just driving me crazy and that I can't do this freaking bit so I just go insane and then I just want to just ah oh. this is this is a bit oh. 
Yeah, if there was any hope of me doing this level right now, it's just, it's evaporated, it's, it's gone. Well, hey, we did it. And I guess I'll continue this a little bit later. I'm a little tired at the moment. Thanks for watching for all that matters, but oh, I'll see you guys later. I don't think alcohol is going to help this time. Alright guys, let's go. More hideout hijinks. No video interruption. Let's just go. <laughs> Like. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh well. 
I'll save that recording. It's, it's too, it's beyond frustrating. It is not a fair challenge. There's nothing legitimate about the challenge. This level has well and truly soured my opinion of this game. I mean, the level is fine. The only thing which is ruining it is those garbage guys at the end. It's... It's the biggest! Just screw you to the player ever! And when you screw up like that, it throws you off. It, it, it throws you off. No, it's not fine because I said it was fine. Come on, you bastard. I want to see if I'll make it past the trash guys. I think I'll make it past this bit anymore. It's, they, it's just such a combination of all this crap. I mean, even some of these platforming bits are really pushing it when it comes to, like, feasibility. And then, right at the end, right at the end, there's this bit which just... Uh, it was... What the hell were they thinking? What were they thinking when they put that in there? That's nothing but crap! And lo and behold, the one time I don't actually do it, I managed to make it down there without breaking my combo. <sighs> Break time number two. Alright, let's try this again.
One so a uh, book jumps. I need to make the better because it increases my chances of winning. Oh, come on, Robert. things which are going on at the moment which is just really annoying the hell out of me. Come on, jump up here, you idiots! Fox! Come on. Devs haven't beaten themselves prior to releasing the game, then it's easy to understand why. The platforming bit is not that difficult. The platforming bits can be gotten just after little bits of practice, as you guys all saw. Oh my. That ends. Oh my. And that's like the second time that's happened.
You've got to be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me! And I'm incapacitated again! Well, an A and a B rank! Yay! S and B, who gives a sh... Break number three! <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. Oh, let's let's just savor this for a minute or two. <laughs> we are one hundred and one. We got a double S rank. We got our red key. That's our name. Now let's just have a look. Let's see if we can find any other Roberts on the list. Oh dear. What is this? What is this? It appears that I am the only Robert who got a double S rank on this level. Afterthoughts, 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 afterthoughts. The hideout, I think, soured my opinion on Dust Force. The level was fine, I didn't mind the one platform jumps, even the most difficult and unfair of those one platform jumps. But at the end, with those two garbage guys, it's no good. It was no good. It was... It, it's like the most bastardized version of a blind jump ever. And it's not even your fault if you die. You just fall down and you just happen to land at the wrong time and it's gone. It is just gone. I'm done with this freaking game right now. I'll be back to gold key some... To grab the red keys and some friendlier levels. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>